months ago, and it's still so raw because it's just something I, I can't, it's hard. Um, I wrote it um, last September after the wave of publicized uh, suicides among queer youth. Mm -hmm. And I say publicized because we should all know that yep, queer youth are killing themselves all the time right. and have been for years and will continue to until we change what it means to be queer in America. Um, and that's just a fucking dangerous place to live. Um, and this is a poem that I wrote um, in honor of that. I remember when I stopped writing. September 2008, Joshua Cameron, 17, and George Hurtado, 18, shot to death within two weeks of each other, both teenage boys who liked to write poetry on their way to college, martyred for little more than the cane in their skin, one just five blocks from my house. I must have slept in the gunfire. This is when the ghosts moved in. Ayanna Jones, Seth Walsh, Oscar Grant, headlines framed my mattress. I remember turning to the page. Every word I grasped for gave way to water every pen, a spigot, my lexicon, a reservoir of tears. I worried a whole stanza might undo me. This is when I started to cry. Not once in eulogy, but daily forced ritual. Something inside of me gave way. It is so dangerous to be young these days. In a world where brown boys trade baseball cards for bullet shells, little girls are slow moving targets and 13 year olds tie hangman knots to beat the lynch mob to the punch. This is a wicked world where our biggest triumph is surviving to our 21st birthday and I almost wish I could tune it out like I used to. Like I told myself I have to. Hold close to apathy, apathy just for self-preservation because I have to get up tomorrow. Because I have work and grad school applications and poems to write and people who need me and people who need me and people who need me and I am tired. But there is no solitude in burying another loaded cartridge beneath my skin, too heavy with burden, a minefield for all those that would dare to hold me close. I can no longer pretend that there is a world of separation between giving a damn about the hard truths and having anything of substance to give to the people who love me in reality. The only difference is distance, and there are days that they are on top of one another. September 2010, 12 LGBT youth committed suicide. This is how I learned their names. September 9th. Billy Lucas, 15 in, 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 in Indiana, killed himself over anti-gay bullying. September 13th, Cody Barker, 17 in Wisconsin, killed himself over anti-gay bullying. September 18th, Seth Walsh, 13 in California, hung himself over anti-gay bullying. September 23rd, Asher Brown, 13 in Houston, Texas, killed himself over anti-gay bullying. September 29th, Tyler Clemente, 18 of New Jersey, jumps from the George Washington Brin Bridge after being humiliated online for a sexual orientation. Raymond Chase was 19, a sophomore at Johnson in Wales in Rhode Island. He was openly gay and he hung himself on the last day of September and countless more nameless young people who called themselves lesbian, gay, transgender, queer like I do and hung themselves for the shame of it. And I cannot be silent anymore because I fell in love this year with a teenage girl I am lucky enough to call my sister. She is so awkward and off-putting. She speaks too quickly, is always interrupting, and sometimes is very quiet and says nothing at all when everyone is waiting for her to speak. She is mad all the time and confrontational, tired, and only 17. She is different from everyone she knows, everyone she is related to. She is magnificent. She is proof that change is possible. She lives her life so openly, and she taught me what it means to love without judgment. And that this, that though this is all I have ever had to offer, it is all that is ever needed. And I turned to the page, awash with the stains of my weeping, and found myself overflowing with speech. This is for George Hurtado, 18, Joshua Cameron, 17, Ayanna Jones, 7, Billy Lucas, 15, Cody J. Barker, 17, C Tyler Clemente, 18, Asher Brown, 13, Seth Walsh, 13, Harrison Chase Brown, 15, Alex Harrison, 16, Felix Sacco, 17, Raymond Chase, 19, Caleb Nolte, 14, Janine Blanchett, 21, Chantal Dubay, 17, and Patricia 
Rogers writes 17 and still living a love letter to all queer, brown, outsider, crushed, beaten, and bullied youth everywhere. You have my support, my love, my commitment. I am here for you. I might not always be the first to know what you need or even ever have the answers, but I am here, committed to helping you grow, overcome, and live with all my heart. Kyria Traver. Ow!